Bray Boss is it is Jen, the head Bray Boss in charge. I want to come in and talk to you guys. Oh, wait. Hashtag pretty gang in the comments. I need you all to check in for me. Also, make sure you're going to braidhairforcash.com. For those of you guys who do not know, I have a braid course where I tell you how to set up your braid business for the profit, the money, the moolah, the shmoney, okay, the green, the bag. Okay. So, you guys, I'm going to come in and talk to you guys about some things that you can do to spice up your braiding marketing. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I get a lot of um, comments about how to market a braid business, how to put yourself out there more as a braider. So I'm gonna give you some. I'm gonna give you a little bit of tip. Okay. The first thing that you can do is create an intro video. Intro video can be one minute, two minutes, nothing more than two minutes, but pretty much letting people know what styles you do, how to book you, how long you've been doing hair, and how they can book with you next. Okay. Some a cute little intro video. This can literally be on Instagram. This can be on TikTok. You can use the same video probably everywhere, but have something that shows your personality, lets people know how warm you are, and let people know how they can book you. Okay. The second thing you can do is join a couple of Facebook groups. Now, I'm not saying to join these Facebook groups and go spam these Facebook groups. I would prefer you to join Facebook groups that you genuinely feel comfortable with being a part of. Maybe. You know, three to five Facebook groups, you know, maybe a mommy and me, maybe a workout, um, a workout group, maybe a local group that, you know, does things to the community. And every week or every other week, drop in the fact that you braid hair, you know, you offer some services or maybe you might give some tips. And make sure before you go into these groups and start dropping stuff in their groups, talk to the admin and ask them if this is okay. Because what happens is some people just go to groups just to spam and then you get kicked out of groups and you get banned from groups and you might even end up in Facebook jail because you're not supposed to do that. That's why I'm suggesting you guys pick that Facebook groups that you genuinely would want to be a part of just so that you just don't show up in there spamming your braid business. But it is an opportunity to get clients who are local to you, clients that may be familiar with you, that have similar tastes as you. To get them into your chair because they'll feel comfortable with you because oh she braids hair my daughter need her hair braided we in this both in this mommy and me group they feel more comfortable with you than just choosing somebody off of instagram they feel like they kind of know you a little bit more than the person off of instagram because you guys are both in the same facebook group okay the next thing you guys is price list should be on your website on your instagram i went to one girl's instagram and she was a makeup artist and i love this she had pretty much three of her three of her best sellers and she got the prices right next to them it's not a secret your price list should not be a secret from your clients and just letting your clients know what you offer up front is a great marketing tool because that sticks in people's mind if you got on there box braids 125 lemonade braids 200 um you know i don't know twisties or havana twist 225 it's in people's mind. Like, oh, I saw this one girl. She do hair for one twenty-five on Instagram. I saw her somewhere. Having your price list out there just to, for people to see, it makes it more comfortable for people to feel like I can book her because I already know what she charged. They don't gotta click this link, click here, book this just to find out how much you charge. It shouldn't be a secret, okay? The next thing is, you guys know I am a fan of this, okay? I'm I'm a fan of taking pictures but in a way like book a photo shoot like photo shoots are literally less than a hundred dollars on groupon come on y'all wait did y'all see my groupon video how braiders can use groupon to get people in their chairs yeah you might want to look at the video i let it slide up here somewhere up there go go look at that one but you literally can book a photographer to do a hair shoot for your braids and those can literally be your pictures that you can show people like it's an investment but having pictures of styles you know how to do is very important because most people do not go based off of the fact you could write that i do havana twist for 200 or you can show pictures and say and a video that shows hey before and after somebody put out the havana twist the havana twist you just did you can show it to them and people like pictures and videos just more right you just want to have that um, also, the next thing you can do to market yourself better is show a popular style. If there's a style that's currently popping, you want to be showing people on Instagram, on TikTok, on, on YouTube, whatever, wherever you're at. 
You want to be showing people that you know how to do the popular style that's popping right now. Okay? And we know a lot of these styles, they don't do nothing but recycle themselves. Okay? Every year, it's a style that was from two years ago, five years ago. More than likely, if you're a braider that's a little seasoned, or even if you're a new braider, you probably know how to do that style. Grab your cousin, grab your homegirl, grab yourself, okay? Y'all, I'm going to talk about that. Grab yourself, go um, show people that you know how to do that popular hairstyle. Um, another thing is you can offer a book, offer a discount, but offer a discount only on something you like to do and something that does not take a long time. I am not going to do a discount on my Havana twist, but I might do a discount on my um, 10, 10 straight back one layers, you know, like do a discount on something that you know you can do quick and something you don't mind doing, get the person in and out, you have a satisfied client, you did a discount and you just have somebody in your chair, okay? Also, announce bookings, like don't be, I see some Instagrams, it's like every other, every photo on there is bookings, bookings, bookings. I'm not saying, don't do that. What I'm saying is, once or twice a month, you need to be letting people know, hey, I have two availabilities open for this hairstyle. Book me like this. You got to tell people what to do, okay? The next thing you could do, and I saw this with, I saw this with a makeup artist, is she offered, she offered her mini glam, which was um, $70, but she did it as a contest. So what she did was she made tickets $10 a piece, right? And she had seven spots. So she did like a raffle. Like, okay, you pretty much, if you win that raffle, you only pay $10. But guess what? That makeup artist, she still got her $70 for doing it, doing it because seven different people paid $10, which adds up to $70. And her mini glam cost $70. So you could do that as a braider. You might say, hey, I'm going to do one layers for $70. You have seven people. Get your raffle tickets for $10. That person who wins gets a $70 hairstyle, but you as the braider still get your $70. Man, baby! Baby! Do it like it's my B-day, baby. Do it like it's my B-day. But you get what I'm saying, so you can run a contest, okay? The next thing you can do is offer take-home packages like earrings, hair ties, shampoo, edge control. Yes, ma'am, slip them edges, okay? Lashes. You want to give people something to go home with so that they have a good experience and they will continue to come back, okay? And the last thing is you need to be telling people how to book you. I don't, I, for the life of me, I don't understand how people do hair. They have no pictures up, no booking sites, and people got the nerve to say slide in my DMs. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. If you guys do not know, I have another video where I talk about bookings and more people prefer to book online and not even talk to you than not right but if you're gonna book let people book you online one tell them how say hey go to my link here book me like this and when you get your book inside please i just experienced this with the writer she did my hair my hair was bomb like i didn't say no pictures but my hair was good it, girl, i'm going back to her but the thing that she could have did better was she just let me book she didn't tell me how to get into the building she didn't tell me what to bring Come to find out, I just bought regular hair. She likes pre-stretched hair. She was like, did you bring any edge control? I was like, no. So if you are going to offer bookings that way, tell people how to book you and give them directions on what they need to bring and what they need to do, okay? So you guys, I hope that this was helpful. Again, Facebook groups, join some of the Facebook groups. Make sure that you have your price list available for people to see. Do take new pictures. Show, that, show a video or a picture of you doing a popular hairstyle offer a discount of something that is simple to do and that you can do quickly.